A frequent question I get asked is how do I clean the headliners of an interior car? So this could be some footprints from a little kid that jumped over the back seat. It could be that a soda busted and it went on to the headliner. It could be a number of things. So it's a very generic, I use this, this uh, method for just about every stain and then I go from there whether it has to be a bit more aggressive or not as aggressive and the type of material. So let me show you how I clean the interiors. Now before this video goes on any further, I will say it's definitely not one of my best how to clean interior car videos. So just keep that in mind. But before we get started, click the link description down below. Click the link in your information so I can send you some info on how to start and get customers for your detailing business. Okay, so there were some spots here that I already cleaned up, but there are a few more isolated spots as you can tell by the handlebar all on, the, on the headliner of the sunroof and just about a few spots. Now, that section cleaned up pretty well because you can't really tell. I did do that a little bit. I got to clean that up a little bit more. But so I can't guarantee it's all going to come out. Those came out pretty good, but I'm not too sure how those are going to come out. Um, just for whatever reason, I'm not sure. Uh, now that I think about it, it's like a perfect line, linear line that, I don't know, it's pretty funny. But um, so what I do is simply use this Boar's Hairs brush, one of my favorite brush, one of the main brushes that I use for interior cleaning with some all-purpose cleaner. Now all I'm going to do is spray the APC into the brush, a little squirt, and then I'm going to just do some small circular motions on the stain until I do enough agitation. I'll wipe it down, inspect, reapply, re-agitate until I feel comfortable with the results that I've gotten. So all I'm going to do is dab it on there and then make small circular motions because I'm just agitating it. I don't want to do too aggressive because I don't want to mess up the fibers on the headliner or I don't want to put too much liquid where I may potentially, most likely not, uh, damage the adhesive and make it loosen up. And as you can tell, not much is happening from this method. So not much actually came off, which is wasn't surprising because that happens quite typically. So what you can do is keep on agitating with that brush. Now since that didn't work, I'll bring out the steamer. Now I know you're thinking, wow, I need a steamer to do this. No, not really. Uh, I should explain it a bit more, but what you want to do is use a different type of brush with different bristles to agitate the headliner. Now you don't want to go there and scrub with as much down pressure as you absolutely can because you're going to mess up the fibers and it's going to, it's going to look different once you're done. So you still want to agitate very gently with any brush that you use, but just keep on going after it more and more with a different brush a little bit more APC and mopping it up with the towel. And just kind of shoot some of it into the stain to try to break it up. I want to be careful with this because I don't want to put too much. Okay, and there we go. If you don't have a steamer, that's fine. Do the best you can with the tools, with different brushes, APC, and just get it to the best you can and then just explain to the customer that it didn't come out for whatever XYZ reason that you determined because as just in this video, some of the stains came out effortlessly and others I had to agitate and use a steamer on. So it's, it is it is what it is, different fabrics, materials, time, it's all gonna factor in into whether or not that stain is gonna come out 110% or maybe 80%. Okay, so now let's clean the headliner. It's real basic, most stains can come out like this where you're just agitating with one brush in circular motions and then you're gonna mop it up with a towel most stains in this interior came out with this method it was just those few in particular that needed a bit more and yes i do have the steamer that i can use on the headliner so it does make it a bit easier but you just gotta re keep on uh, agitating and mopping up with the towel and the brush to get the re desired results now if you have a steamer of some sort, it does help, but you can also get great results without the steamer well, on the headliner. Keep in mind, you may not be able to clean every single last stain on a headliner or anywhere on the interior. It's just the nature of the beast. Yes, you may be able to re reduce it, minimize how bad it looks, minimize the smell, but at some times it's just how long it's been sitting there, the heat probably just fused it with the fiber itself. It's, you know, the type of uh, stain it is, like if it feels oil or some type of grease that was just been there forever. It feels like a, uh, someone, you know, a smokes, uh, a cigarette, they, you know, put out their cigarette by burning it off on the headliner. You're not going to do much about that. So you do have to, you know, explain to the customer that, hey, I don't think some of these are going to come out. I'll be able to remove 80, 90% of these. But just by the nature of the stain, how long it's been there, 
some of them are just not gonna come out all the way. So hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comment down below with some advice, some advice for me on how to clean headliners. Thumbs up this video, check the description box down below and I'll see you on the next video.